Well, we are somewhere very exciting this morning. You might recognize the background behind me. It's a fire hall, and we're actually joined by Deputy Chief Dana Terrian. Dana, you're actually with Strathcona County Emergency Services, and you're looking to do some recruiting this year. Yes. So what are your requirements that you're looking for if people are interested in getting involved? So Strathcona County Emergency Services is one of the unique services within the province that is an integrated service. So we run both ambulance, so emergency medical services, as well as fire. And so we are looking for applicants that are interested in being both a paramedic and a firefighter. And now that is a really specific duo. Are you looking for people who have all of that paramedic training and they're coming in ready to rock with you? So the applicants that we're looking for are people that have their either their primary care paramedic or their advanced care paramedic, and then we would help them with the, the fire training itself. We've got about a 12-week program that uh, we will put them through for, for all of their fire training, but we're looking for those people that have their paramedic training already. I see. Now, this is going to be a really exciting thing for a lot of people who might be interested in, in seeing what's in store for them. And if you're interested in learning more, I know you guys have a recruitment event coming up. What can you tell us about that? So the, the event that we're having is kind of a career day, and it's happening on March 25th, so it's next Saturday. And uh, it'll be an opportunity for people to come in and see what it's like to be a firefighter. Uh, we've got some events that uh, they'll be able to try some of the physical activities that we do, some of the testing that they would be, uh, the physical test at the U University of Alberta. Uh, they'll be able to see how heavy the equipment is, what kind of effort they have to put forward, as well as some of the medical uh, aspects of our job. And uh, they can ask questions, we'll have some presentations. And if you're interested in asking questions like that, we're going to be throughout the morning learning more about what that recruitment process entails. You guys have me all geared up and you're going to run me through some tests. I can't wait to try them. I'm already a little sweaty. These outfits are pretty hot. <laughs> um, but if people are interested, they can come for the recruitment event. And what is the deadline for uh, applying for this? Uh, the deadline for application for uh, for getting a job here or for going through the process is, is March 31st. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you're interested in applying, you can head to that recruitment event on Saturday. We're going to show you lots more this morning and the deadline is March 31st. Good morning. We are having so much fun here at Strathcona County Emergency Services learning all about their recruitment process and I'm joined by Deputy Chief Dana Terry and Dana we've been talking about this recruitment event that you have coming up. Some of the people behind us are doing some of the stuff that people will get to try. What can you tell me about the event? So the event is specifically targeted to individuals that are going to be applying for our service here in the month of March. So from March 1st to the 31st. And the 25th of March is going to be a, kind of a career day where they get to come in and, and try out the different uh, tests that, that will be uh, provided at the Un University of Alberta. And these are really amazing tests. People are going to try things that they've maybe not gotten a chance to mm -hmm. try before, right? Yeah, so we've we've also augmented it with uh, an experience of what Strathcona County Emergency Services is. So we've got our specialty teams, we've got a water rescue team with our, our airboat, we've got uh, the high angle team, uh, we've got different aspects of our service that are a bit unique and uh, they get to try those out or, and get to ask questions, um, see, see what makes us who we are. And so you guys are going to be putting me to the test today as well, trying out some of these skills. Yes. Um, these, of course, are tests that you're doing with people who already have that paramedic training. Yes. So um, normally, what would that look like? They, they have that medical training, then they're going into this, making sure they've got the physical training as well? Yes. So they, they, they're already either a primary care paramedic or an advanced care paramedic. Uh, because again, we're a joint service, integrated service, and so, and then we provide them with the training once once they get hired for for firefighting. And I mean, this, this is some really intensive training. Are you worried about how I'm going to do today when you're putting me through these paces? I'm not worried. <laughs> I hope you're not worried. <laughs> no, You've I mean, got a lot of support behind you. We're, we're there, and we're good coaches. Oh yeah. And we're good cheerleaders. And I got the outfit all ready to go. And it is it is looking good. Thank you so much. So I'm thinking I should probably get geared up, and then you can show me what we're going to do first. What what would you start me on if we were trying? I'm not going to start you on anything. I'm going to let my my <laughs> professionals do that for you. All right. Well, I can't wait. Let's put on the helmet and get ready to go. If you're interested in trying out any of this, the recruitment event is on Saturday, and you can sign up online. We'll have the website posted for you right here. Good morning. They are putting me to the test here at Strathcona County Emergency Services, and I am joined by a fire fit expert. This is Carla Morrison. And Carla, you're going to be putting me to the test here with all of these skills that you're going to be running people through at your recruitment day. Yeah, so next Saturday we're having a recruitment event, and we're going to have the 
functional fitness test from the U of A set up in our base here. And we're gonna run people through so they have an opportunity to try if they want to apply with us and have a little bit of practice. We can show them some technique and help people out a little bit. And you got me all dressed up, ready to go. Uh, so what are we starting with? We're starting with the drag. Yeah, so we're gonna run you through, this is, we call him Rescue Randy. <laughs> And he has a harness on, and you're gonna pull him through a little bit of an obstacle course. So there's some pylons set up here behind. You have to pull him around the pylons in a serpentine without hitting any of the pylons. And the last pylon at the end, you turn him around and come back through the course. How much does Randy weigh? Is that rude to ask? No, so <laughs> Rescue Randy for the U of A testing is about 180 pounds. Wow. And um, he has the harness on that you can hold there. And yeah, well, I can't wait to see you try it. Randy, my guy, lay off the cheese buns. <laughs> so what are we doing next? And then the next one after that is set up over here. Um, it's a rope pull, so it's simulating hoisting, pulling tools, or anything that you may have to attach to a rope and pull. In this test, you actually have to pull it three times 50 feet. Amazing. And then the final one is really a, a, a strength test as well. That's the jaws of life. Right. So that's our vehicle extrication tools. So there's a carry involved in that. And then we're going to have you hold the tool for 30 seconds at three different heights. And that simulates cutting a car door. So there's three pins on a car door that you would have to cut. And um, so you're going to have to hold them away from your body at each different height. And how heavy is that going to be for me? So they're somewhere, depending on the on the tool, they're between 20 kilograms and 36 kilograms. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope you've enjoyed following along. We're going to have lots more on the specific tests that they're going to have me do today. Uh, but if you're interested, that recruitment event, again, is the 25th, and there's more information online for you. They have got me working up a sweat here at Strathcona County Emergency Services. The trials are on for us today and they could be on for you at the recruitment day. I'm joined by Carla Morrison. And Carla, if people wanna try this out, if they're interested in becoming a firefighter paramedic, this is where they start, right? Yeah, so on next Saturday, the 25th, we have an event that you can come try all the aspects of the U of A fitness test. And we'd love to help with some technique with people coming in. We're gonna show you the technique shortly for all of these events. And behind us is the hose drag. How long is this hose drag? So it's 100 feet, and you're pulling three lengths of 45 mil hose. The farther you pull, the heavier it gets. So as you get near the end, it starts to feel harder. <laughs> wow, and then so we also have this hammer situation. What is this for? So this is to simulate forcible entry. It's a 10 pound sledgehammer. The test actually measures force, so some people will take four hits and some people take 20 hits, so the more force you can put into your hits, the less. Today, we don't have that, that same machine, so we're simulating it with a tire and a sledgehammer. And the ladder, of course, this is an important one. Yes, so this simulates carrying, or walking up a ladder with load, which was on a fire scene, you're always gonna have your pack, you might have some tools or a saw or something else that you're carrying up. So they're doing five times up and down 10 rungs. Wow, that's a lot. And if you're interested in trying this out, uh, that recruitment day is on the 25th and your deadline to apply is actually the 31st, right? Right, so you have the rest of March to apply. And I mean, it seems like a ton of fun. It's a lot of work, but it's such an amazing team. You guys have been so encouraging. I'm just having the best day with you and I really appreciate you showing me all of these skills today. Yes, we're excited to have you here. <laughs> if you're interested again, that deadline is the 31st and you can check out online all the details about that recruitment day.